Hi again everyone, Adrian Hughes here with Husey Tech and after a month's break I'm back here on the channel. Now tonight we're taking a look at the Elins dash cam. Now this particular dash cam doesn't have a model number but it is their top of the line dash cam available over at the Elins Automotive Online Store. Now this is an Australian manufacturer and store based over in the Eastern States. They do sell dash cams and along with that they do sell GPS systems multimedia car systems so that's uh, in-car dvd players and whatnot and well just basically a lot of multimedia and electronic stuff for your car or vehicle so i'd like to say right off the bat thank you to jeffro and the pleasant staff over at Li a lens sorry for providing me the opportunity to review one of their dash cameras so let's just take a quick look at what's in the box so we have the usual uh, suspects here. It's got a G sensor, five megapixel. Uh, oh, you can use it as a webcam actually. Uh, just the usual video and photo recording, motion detection, and a loop recording there. Nice thing about this dash cam is it does spell out the specifications on the back here. We have a Novatech 96650 chipset along with an Aptina AR0330 sensor. Now, if that sounds familiar, that's because that's the uh, very popular sensor and chipset combo that is on the A118 dash cam, and it's uh, various derivatives. So we do have the G sensor, as I said earlier, which is used uh, to, which is triggered actually when um, the car is bumped into by another vehicle or say a large speed hump. So you don't lose that recording. Now we do have a quite large three inch uh, widescreen LTPS, I, sorry, LTPS LCD screen on the back and a very wide 170 degree field of view. So it is nice to see that they have quite a um, wide field of view there to bring in all the peripheral surroundings. A lot of languages here on offer. Russian language, uh, Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean, etc. Records in MOV format in H.264, and we do have AAC audio on board. And that's nice to see because in the last couple of videos that I've done with particular dash cams, we have had ADPCM audio recording, which has been a royal pain in the neck because a lot of users... Um, without installing the proper codex in the computer will actually load that footage up and wonder why there's no sound playing when they have uh, set the microphone to be on to record footage in their dash cam. So it is nice to see it, uh, AAC, one of the uh, more popular formats and uh, one of the more reliable ones. We do have the seamless loop recording. Uh, it's, we will, sorry, we will find out in a couple of minutes as to what the length of that is. Do have the support of uh, auto ignition boot, turn off, shut down. So that's basically, you know, the usual for most dash cams. Turn your car on and off and then it'll stop recording as appropriate. We do have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card built in. I'll show you that in a little while. Uh, 12 megapixel... Uh, still images um, that, record, uh, that takes photos in JPEG format and um, we do have a 5 volt 1 amp power interface so just the usual car charger for your car, cigarette lighter whatnot and we do have the built in 200 milliamp hour battery so no capacitor on this model, but uh, as you know, that's not a deal breaker in the world of dash cams. So let's take a look in the box as to what we get. Now this is, uh, for all the Australian viewers out there, this is $89 from Elins. So do visit their website at, I believe it is, elins.com.au. Now... This particular model does come with the 32 gigabyte micro SD card that bumped up the price to 109. Still pretty good value for what you get. So let's have a squizzy at what is in the box. Just take all the uh, plastic uh, packaging out. 
do have the dash cam mount here. So nice clip on one suction mount there, which is nice to see. And it does uh, rotate here with the bearing there. So that is nice to see one of these provided in the box. You don't always see these uh, suction mounts. Some of the cheaper models I've seen over the years don't actually have the, uh, as you can see there, the clip to make it uh, to make it suck onto your windscreen. Um, I believe the laser brand dash cams don't have them, so uh, it's not very good of them to uh, exclude that because you know, uh, it's just going to fall off your windscreen at some point. Now, let's see what else we have inside the box. We have a mini USB to USB A cable there. You can see it in the uh, clear packaging there. So, good to see the uh, mini mini USB uh, format power supply. Sorry being used here. Micro USB is quite not as, it's not quite as strong as uh, mini USB so it's always nice to see it here. Now this is the uh, car charger. Again mini USB powered there and indicator there for power which is good to see nice bright and red and we do yep yeah, it says it right there five volts one amp place them aside and we have the instruction leaflet here which is in english pretty straightforward there we do have wide dynamic range i can see here it's always nice to see that Provided on a dash cam, and that's about it. It's a multi page leaflet, it just folds out pretty straight, straightforward. Sorry, affair there. I'll just uh, move all of that out of the way and show you the camera. Please forgive all the rumbling around, rummaging, as that is me putting the box contents out of the way for a while. Now here is the Elin's dash cam. When uh, my video, my camera decides to focus. And there we are, we're in action there. So here it is, this is the Elin's dash cam. Now a very nice dash cam I must say, this is quite nice in the build quality department. This has to be actually the heaviest dash cam I've reviewed here and that's not just because of the 3 inch screen on the back, it's because of the actual build here. Now it does have a nice faux chrome, chrome sorry, effect around the lens there. And this is a nice soft touch plastic, which is, uh, as you can see, quite nice to uh, hold there, as you can see. Uh, I believe these are the IR LEDs here for nighttime vision. We've got a uh, microphone on board. And if we take a look at the side here, we've got some menu buttons. So this isn't a touch screen as such. Uh, not even capacitive touch Buttons are provided on the side there, like uh, the Xiaomi Mi Jia that I reviewed last time. So we have the OK button, menu, uh, lock. So that's, I'm assuming that's for the, uh, to lock the footage, emergency record button, that's to power on over there. We do have the micro USB port up the top here. As you can see, there's a little, this is where you mount the, uh, uh, suction mount there, you just slide it in there and we have a I believe micro HDMI port there so you can hook it up to your TV and view all the footage. Now we have the rest of the buttons here I believe that's to go through the menu up and down and we have the 32 gigabyte micro SD card already inserted which is uh, Nice to see here in the dash cam. 
There we go. Just didn't get it out for a second. Yep. So we have a Kingston. Reliable brand there. So it's good to see that they're using a reliable flash memory storage brand here in this dash cam. Always gives me great confidence when they do things like that. So yeah, wide angle lens, uh, six glass element, I believe, and we have a f2.0 aperture, which is uh, a bit larger than what's normal for the um, Novatech and Aptina chipset combo. We do usually get a 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, something like that. So it's nice to see that they've got a larger aperture to let in more light at night. So as you can see, that's it for the build and uh, look. First look at the camera itself. It's very nice here. Very nice build. Very nice quality. Now before we leave tonight, we are going to take a quick look at the dash cam menu itself. So I shall just plug in a power source to this camera through the micro not micro mini usb sorry i always confuse those two don't i micro usb port there and we'll take a quick look at the menu so i'll try hopefully it doesn't get washed out by my camera flash here as you can see it's charging there micro sd cards in resolution of 1296p just a bit more than 1080p and we have Video, uh, wide dynamic range to turn on. Oh, exposure level. So uh, it's nice to see exposure levels uh, displayed here. Don't always get that on dash cams. You get the option in the settings, but uh, to see it displayed there is quite nice. And we do have uh, free. So I'm guessing that's the three minute loop. Now the little button there, sorry, the little red icon flashing and to signify that the dash cam is recording and G sensor is on. We do have the microphone on there. So let's just flick around in the menu when we bring it up, actually, sorry. Wait, uh, we don't have any actual indicator lights on the front there. So that's apart from the side ones here, it's just to indicate that it's charging. So this is a uh, 3-inch LTPS LCD screen here. Now this is quite nice actually. It's uh, very hefty, but uh, it's good to see your footage here displayed in such a large format. Now that's going to look fantastic in the car actually because uh, you'll be able to see a lot of uh, peripheral vision and whatnot as you're going through. Now let's just get into the menu. I've got to stop recording first. <clears throat> okay, so the OK button stops the recording there. And we should be able to get into the menu. Okay, oh, it switches modes actually, sorry. So that's the camera mode there. Review and playback. Uh -huh. there's the menu okay forgive me that's the first time I've actually gone through this uh, menu each dash cams a little bit different but for the most part mainly the same so we do have here as you can see resolution loop recording wide dynamic range and exposure so if we go on the resolution there we should see there we go 1296p so 1728 by 1296 1080p, 720p, and WVGA, which I have no idea what you would use that for. But um, it's there if you want it. And same with VGA. Loop recording. As I suspected on the front screen there, it was uh, set to three minutes. Switch that to two, and it should change. Wide dynamic range is on. I always leave that setting on zero for exposure. As you can see on the um, front screen, motion detection is off. Record audio on, date stamp, parking movie. So this does have parking mode. 
and gravity sensing sensing should be on yep it's on there time lapse oh nice to see that we have time lapse on board here always a handy feature so if we just flick through the menu again got the date time auto power off beep sound which you can hear frequency lamp setting a in the lamp setting on no it will show up later anyway as they tend to do you can add your plate number format uh, default setting screensaver so you can turn the screen off whenever you want and the version there you go so the firmware is dated at september 2016 version one so if we just uh, get out of the menu there, change modes again, sorry, and we should have, yep, even more options depending on which mode you're in. So here we're in the um, photo settings mode here. all the way up to 12 megapixels as I stated earlier in the video put them all in the sequence uh, multi shot I think uh, white balance color ISO exposure anti shaking quick review date stamp oh geez there's a lot of options on this camera and that's very nice to see always like more options rather than uh, no options on a dash cam oh and I've just taken a photo there. Uh, but we can review that later on. Do we have the date stamp on? I believe. Yep, we do have the date stamp on there. So that's it for this uh, first look at the Elin's dash cam. It does have a nice start up and shut down animation as well then which you shall see in a minute just turn the camera off here flashed up really quickly there and that's it for this first look as i said at the lens dash cam a very very nice looking dash cam here and it's shaping up uh, to be an interesting review um such a big screen here it's going to make uh, the reviewing job actually uh, quite a lot easier <laughs> And, uh, and a more enjoyable one, as I always like uh, the dash cams with the bigger screens. As I said, nice build here. This is my first impressions, nice build. It's also got a rubber seal here that works its way around there. Um, lots and lots of options here. A proven chipset and sensor combo. And um, very, very well decked out dash cam here and very nice with the accessories provided in the box all the staples that you need uh probably uh oh, actually no yeah no no no. it's okay since it has a suction mount okay i was thinking of uh i didn't miss the um free m adhesive tape but that's only for dash cams that don't use a suction mount don't worry it's got everything in the box got everything you need and we'll be checking out this dash cam in further detail very very soon i'd like to thank you again for taking the time to watch this video and for checking out any other videos on my channel so far i've just hit over 200,000 views on my channel and i'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to visit my channel leave comments feedback ask any questions and of course view my videos on dash cams once again thanks to elins jeffro and the pleasant staff over there and thanks again to you the viewer and i shall see you on my next video very very soon bye for now